hi friends welcome back in this video i am teaching you how to build this type of navigation bar i think have you seen many, many website this type of navigation bar so let's start how to build i am using a image in this navigation bar so this image and edit this in notepad and also open index.html in the browser and close the previous so let's start by typing all the global structure of html open html and close now open head tag and also close it in the head tag give the title of page give the title navigation bar any title that you want to give so give to title and after this link our css file to html rel style sheet href style.css and type is also text slash css and close the link and after open and after this open body tag and same again don't forget to close and now open our div and close and give the id of div nav wrapper So this is wrapper of 100% width of our nav. And now create another div with nav containers. So this is container of width of our nav. We give them we give the width of nav container to 800 pixel and 968 pixels. I mean what did you want? So after this we create another div with id of nav folder and close it so now we include our image with source logo.png and close image tag and now open unordered list and type list items all and inside list items open anchor tag with href equal hash because we don't send now we don't sending any link to anchor tags so now open a span tag for home and type home so span tag only for home in the other categories we don't use span by control plus d you can copy the lines and remove the span tag for others for other categories and now copy by control plus d and i think in the capital letters it look more good and on the second number give features on third it and on the third give the pages on the fourth point blog and one more for about and now check the check our html so our html is looking good and properly worked so now uh, we style our this navigation bar so firstly open the so we select the body and give the margin padding to 0 pixels by defaultly for all the you can use star star you you can use star for body and 
by when you use star you uh, by default the all the unordered list and list items goes to zero when you give the margin and padding to zero pixels so after this in the body type give the background and after this we select nav wrapper with 100% width and give them also border from top uh, border gives the i think 3 pixel solid and hash 101317 so this is light gray uh we check it our css is playing on now so yeah this is properly work working so so include some more tags with background uh, so give the background web kit so we using this time gradient colors so web kit for our chrome web kit linear gradient open the brackets and inside this give the color for top and give the after comma give the color for bottom so these two color mixed when you see the when you see the browser so o for opera and mouse for mozilla and linear gradient for other web browsers so firstly check so see our gradient color is looking very good so this is the meaning of gradient two color mixed and now we apply some box shadow uh 10 pixels 2 pixels and 20 pixels radius of our so this is radius of our box shadow and hash a9 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 is a light light black color and after this now we select nav container so this is container we give them width of uh, i think 968 pixels it's good and also give the background background property with hex sorry with this gradient color and from top the gradient color copy these copy these upper all content and paste it by control plus v using and give them also some margin uh, i think auto is the good and now check so okay our shadow is also applied and looking very good and now we select holder so this is holder of our navigation so inside holder we select an ordered list so float to right side an ordered list now floating to right side and give them also margin from top to 25 pixels and now select nav holder again and now we selecting list items inside the nav holder so display in line block and now we list style type we none because we don't want the bullets in this side bullets so okay this gone so now looking good we also give the some margin from top 5 pixels i think good and now again select nav holder
and text decoration none because we don't want the anchor text to text underline and give the also font size 90 pixels and also give the color hash uh, i think 797b and a2 so this is the right orange color uh what's the problem it's not applied i will check i think our color is not hex is not uh, not correct and it is 74 so check again back uh, i think problem is oh shit we don't select the anchor tag so select the anchor tags inside an order list items so i think now it's correct and give them some more padding 10 pixels from top and bottom from left to right to 8 pixels and also change the font size sorry font weight to bold so now it's looking i think good check back so yeah that's worked and now our anchor tags to all colors applied so okay now again select nav holder inside nav holder now we selecting the nth child nth child is uh, list items so now we selecting the first list item means home even what even what you want to select you can select when you type to uh, this time it select products so now we select background our all upper content and paste it for the gradient color and change the color of top to ff99 and 00 so this is the light orange color and second number dark orange so this gradient is i think good and copy and paste it for all the for all opera mos and linear for other browsers copy for others and paste it so check back so it's looking good uh, i think we want some border for home so let's create some border firstly give the padding 10 pixels from top and bottom and again left and right to 8 pixels and also give the color to first home fff so this is the white color and now give the border for home 1 pixel solid hex give the hex value with hash c6 2a and 00 so this is the dark orange so now we select nav holder and when we now hover we give the hover property now so when we hover on anchor tags so copy the all this content and paste it and also give them some padding 10 pixels and 8 pixels sorry 7 pixels now and also give the color uh i think yeah we want color we want some color for our anchor tags so give the fff and also give them some border same here one pixel solid hash c6 2a00 and i think our styling is completed so yeah that's working so it's looking very good thanks for watching please subscribe my channel